Hello all, welcome to Wondershare eDrawMax. In this video, we will learn about activity diagrams. Activity diagrams in UML describe the dynamic aspects of the system. It is basically a flowchart to represent the flow of one activity to another. The activity can be described as an operation of the system. So when should you use an activity diagram? An activity diagram describes how activities are coordinated to provide a service which can be at different levels of abstraction and is suitable for modeling how a collection of use cases coordinate to represent business workflows. Identify candidate use cases through the examination of business workflows. Identify pre and post conditions, the context for use cases. Model workflows between and within use cases. Model complex workflows and operations on objects. Model in detail complex activities in a high-level activity diagram. Activity diagram symbols. Start, used to represent the starting point or the initial state of an activity. Action or control flow, used to represent the flow of control from one action to the other. Action or activity, used to represent the activities of the process. Decision node used to represent a conditional branch point with one input and multiple outputs. Basic flow. Returning alternative flow, used to represent the merging of flows. It has several inputs, but one output. Alternative flow. Fork, split behavior into a set of parallel or concurrent flows of activities or actions. Parallel activities. Merge node, bring back together different decision paths. And end, used to mark the end of all control flows within the activity. In activity diagrams, partitions are used to represent or group actions together. These partitions are called swim lanes. While using swim lanes, you should follow a few helpful instructions. One, make it easy to read by adding swim lanes to direct processes. Two, don't add more than five swim lanes. And three, arrange swim lanes in a logical manner. So how do you draw an activity diagram? Step one, add swim lanes. Step two, identify the actors who are involved. Step three, figure out the action steps from the use case. Step four, find a flow among the activities. Navigate to file, click on new, Select Software and Database and Software from the subcategories, and now choose UML Modeling. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet. UML Activity State Diagram Most of the symbols related to activity diagrams can be found here. Drag and drop the swim lane onto the drawing pane and adjust accordingly. Now let's add the start symbol, followed by the action symbol. To add connectors, select Connector under the Home tab and choose the appropriate connector to connect the symbols. Click on the library symbol and add the Basic Drawing Shapes library found under the General category. Drag and drop the decision or merge symbol onto the drawing pane. And add connectors. To add text, select the text option under the home tab. Continue to build the diagram as shown.
click on Theme on the right side of the page and select the required theme. To add custom colors, select the shapes and click on Style on the right side of the page. Here you can find options to fill the shape's colors. Right-click and choose Select All Connectors to change the style. To add color to a swim lane, select a swim lane and click on Swim Lane on the right side of the page. To change text style, right-click and choose Select All Texts. Select Fit to Drawing under the Page Layout tab. Click on the From Current Page icon to preview the diagram in a single frame. Now let's see a few examples of activity diagrams that are available in eDraw Max. Here's an Order Transaction UML Activity Diagram, a Bank UML Activity Diagram, and a VGM UML Activity Diagram. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Please find the link in the description below to try eDraw Max online or to download the software.